Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a short one, but it's it's one that I think is important. Um, Zena and I have talked about self-care in a lot of different ways. Um, Zena's done the series about mm -hmm. bullet journaling, which is a really great way to organize things and kind of keep things in your head, especially if you're neurodivergent. Um, you know, we've done the videos on self-care on sort of education, which is like, for example, learning cognitive distortions, right? The, the yeah. Distorted Thinking Series. Distorted Thinking Series, yep. Um, and that's kind of a form of self-care in its own way. We've talked about self-care in obvious ways, like, you know, meditation, taking care of you, getting rest, making sure you're getting enough sleep, enough food, etc. We want to talk about this more, di more, I guess, I guess random stuff that is... Uh, Self-care for us, um, as you guys all know, there's been a lot of just terrible shit going out of the news, and I've kind of myself burned out from it. No, me too. Um, I, uh, school shootings fuck with me. The reason for that is, is that when I was a kid, um, when I was in high school, I was around in high school when Columbine happened. And I was a kid in a trench coat, lots of goth makeup, the whole nine yards. And... The problem was is that I um, I walked into cl class and the teacher who hated me um, was suddenly super nice to me. It was actually really disconcerting. And um, she said, have you seen? And I was like, seen what? And she turns on the news and there was this horrible thing and I was, I was horrified. I was shocked. As a kid that had been picked on for so long, beaten up, yelled at, called every slur under the word, under the uh, thing, most of them turning out to be true. Um, I definitely had thoughts of violence at one point or another. I was in horror because I thought that I could have been one of those people and that I was in horror. I was in shock because the reason I didn't do anything like that is because I just couldn't bring myself to harm people. I thought that was a terrible idea. My rage was never a justification for doing those things. So for someone to go out and do that, to give in to that incredibly dark fucking urge was horrifying. I ended up writing a little poem with a pentacle on the giant card we sent Columbine High School. Um, it ended up getting scribbled out and I ended up getting pulled to the principal's office. I thought I was in trouble, but uh, in reality, they were making sure I wasn't, uh, I wasn't being harassed. They were concerned for me. I school shootings fuck with me and between that and everything going on with politics and the one trans kid that got yanked out of the room by the police or any other fucking awful story out there guys I'm tired this is my part time job like <laughs> this is me and Zena's like side gig I'm tired this stuff's hard. And I'm not saying we can't face it or look at it. We just did a segment on talking about a problem online. And we also just did a segment talking about ways to cope with and deal with mass shootings. I have really disconnected from the internet for the last two weeks. So has Xena for the most part, except for Mastodon, I think. I don't think we've even been on Reddit, really. Yeah, no, that's true. We needed to step away for a bit, and that's why last stream didn't happen, because we were burnt the fuck out. I, uh, I couldn't do it. If you actually saw behind the scenes, you would see that, like, the reason why we don't stream sometimes is, like, Xena has a migraine, and we, there's a lot of discussion about it, and then we end up not doing it, and we both feel like shit about it, and it's a whole thing. But this time, it was just me being like, like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just needed, I needed a week off, guys. I needed a week off, and those might happen more in the future, but the last two weeks, as I've told Chad, is like, Xena's been basically knitting up a storm. Like, we have so many potholders. Okay, I was making some for a friend, but yes, we have a lot of potholders That all say now. fuck? No, the only one many, of them so, says- Okay, one fuck. of them says fuck. Okay, so when I, there were, I did, okay, I did three pieces that said fuck. Two of them were combined into one piece to be a hot pad. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so...
TG store merch store win. I do have sticker designs. We just we gotta put them together. But but yeah, I um I've been just reading a lot of fucking Yuri. Um, I'm a giant lesbian. Uh, I love women and women adjacent people. Um, even trans mass people are not uh, are not exempt in some cases. Um, my par- partisan com- com- uh, partner included can't talk today. I really like I really like love stories. Um, I'm a sap when it comes to that, and uh, yeah, I am. Um, I've just been reading a fuck ton of them. Uh, I've been noticing interesting cultural differences between stuff from like Thailand, uh, Korea, and Japan. Japan usually comes up short on many issues, but um, stuff by uh, Rotana Sadis, uh, 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 such as Pulse, Love Lily, and Love Lily 2 um, are hot <laughs> and really good love stories and fun and just great. Sora and Hena, that's a great one. I think that one's also Korean. Um, there's a side story where them as adults, it's pretty funny. Um, tends to be a thing in a lot of manhwa where uh, they'll do like the high school story and then by the time the story ends, they're all adults and then they'll do a side story with some of the more salacious stuff, which is interesting. Um, and often drawn very hot. Um, I just needed a break. And so I guess the thing I want to talk about with self-care, and, and Zena, feel free to interject at any point. I don't want to take over. Is I think just me and Zena wanted to talk about kind of the stuff we've been doing because like for the last two weeks, I've actually been kind of rested. Now, part of that is also self-care in the form of being on a new medication. I'm on Cymbalta. Zena's also on Cymbalta. Mm-hmm. Anxiety because of everything going on in the world is hard. Um, and we decided that we wanted to kind of do something different. And it's actually been helping a lot. Our arguments have gone down and Motivation's been a little hard sometimes, but it's been pretty solid. Um, I'm an anxious person. I worry. I don't look like it often, but I do worry a lot. And so, yeah, like getting on a new med, even if it's scary, that was a kind of self-care. Um, reading an absurd amount of urine, <laughs> that was self-care. Um, I needed positive shit. I needed good stuff. I needed things that made me happy. And there was some dark stuff in there. White Angel has no wings, and or White Angels have no wings, and White Angel uh, gets no rest was dark as shit. Um, holy fuck, those are dark as shit. Do not, do not go in there if you're a faint of heart. But a lot of stuff I was reading was really sweet and cute and nice, and I liked it. It's been nice just sitting in bed with Xena and reading, and Xena being able to just knit and like. Yeah, we're behind on shows. Yeah, we haven't been hanging out on the Discord as much, but it's been nice having a break. And even when we've been on the Discord, we've been kind of forcing the conversation away from discourse and more into just talking about random shit or people opening up when something really bothers them. There was a discussion on the Discord, which I thought was a really good act of self-care on Xena's part, where Xena spoke up and, uh, you know, self-advocated for themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess, is there anything you're thinking in this? I just, I don't, I don't want to take over. I'm just kind of spitballing here. Yeah, so you just seem like you're kind of on a roll, so... No, go ahead. You need to say some shit. Yeah, no, I'd been feeling burned out for a while. There's a lot of stuff that happened. Sorry, my head's a little out of it. That's um, okay. I mean, one thing is I think we're still recovering from March. Yeah. We've also had some shakeups in our community and far as far as, like, people... Um... We had found out some old friends, uh, uh, an old friend of ours had made some really horrible statements about us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I almost blocked that out of my brain. Um, And then all this stuff going on with Lily and then the world itself, right? Like, you know, there's a fucking war going on in Ukraine. There's a fucking, name it, what horror show is going on. Zena and I have just been tired. And the problem is, is that when we get anxious, the issue we end up doing is, is, you know, we get into arguments more, we, you know, fight more. Because as we talked about in another segment, the systems and the environment around you affect your things. They affect you internally. They affect your body. They affect your digestion. They affect a whole bunch of stuff. That includes your relationships. When there's a whole bunch of stress because of stuff going on online, 
It affects me and Xena when, you know, Lily will not stop ignoring my partner and continue continually talk shit about me. That affects me and Xena because then I get to be upset and hold my partner when they start to feel like the entire community just ignores their existence. Well, that or space gets made for just to be upset and deal with all the harassment, and deal with all of that. But then, you know, the topic changes as soon as Jess is done. Stress from the environment can break down communication. And so it's something that is, it was really nice to take that break. And I think I need to make myself do it more. I know you guys like talking about how like, I don't look like I'm 40, but I am 40. Like, yeah, I'm good at makeup and yeah, I'm pretty, I guess. But I also, I also still get tired. Like I still, I still don't have the energy I did when I was 20. God, I wish I still did. I know I act like all you guys and that that's fine, but I don't, I think that's the big difference between me and a lot of the other streamers is that, and by extension, my partner and the, how my partner interacts with me is that, you know, I'm older than most of these people. Most streamers are what, in their early 20s, you know? Like, it's just hard. And so that may be a thing that has to happen occasionally. So I have to take time off. I have to not really focus on the channel growth which is hard because I've been trying to get this thing to fucking grow. I wanted us to be to 5,000 by now, but it's just not going to happen. So yeah, I guess as far as self-care in this regard, I think the thing I want to just kind of put make clear is like all the stuff we've said before, good. And and self-care in the forms of, you know, more non-traditional stuff like like fuck like the bullet journaling or looking at your own thoughts, sitting in meditation and watching mm -hmm. your own cognitive distortions. And like, these all can be forms of self care, but like also just chilling with the stream. Half the time when we're talking to you guys about stuff going on at the beginning, it's not just we're trying to faff about or do a stun lock. It's because we're generally doing self care. We want to catch up with you guys. We care about you guys. Yeah, it makes it a lot more fun. And we like updating people. Yeah. The drama gets hard. And uh, I needed a break from it. I needed drama that was fun and sexy and cool mm -hmm. and not just stinky YouTubers just fighting over nonsense or starting fights or trying to fucking engage in stochastic terrorism or whatever the fuck people are doing this this week. No, I, I especially after a lot of the streams and watching various YouTubers and going, yeah, no, that's triggering trauma responses for me. This is great. Yeah. No, that was definitely a big one of like, I need a break. And it, it's hard to take that. Um, I was really struggling too with knitting because um, I was finding myself really, really impatient with everything and just wanting everything to just be done, which isn't my usual thing. I'm not like, I really enjoy the process of knitting. Like, I like the product, the end result, getting to wear it and doing all of that. But I also really like being in the process with something and figuring something out. But I found myself really impatient and really irritated with stuff. So I ended up putting a lot of the big projects down instead. Um, and I actually have a lot of projects started right now. Um, and so I ended up just kind of working mostly on the brawlet, um, the ripple brawlet that's actually almost done. I just need some end sewed in. Um, just because I needed something easy. And, I, and with that, I kind of went, oh, yeah, no, I can just kind of relax and settle into this again. Um, and same thing with like the hot pads and, and the, uh, um, wash, wash closet. They're super easy. They don't take long, you know, they take a couple hours and that's it. And you just knock one out. Um, but I've never really done much with wash cloths or hot pads. I've got a, quite a few hot pads around the house, but that's about it. Um, so I've just been, I needed a quick, easy thing that was just going to be simple, bright colors get it done, just immediate gratification that's just good. Um, that was a big one. I've been reading, I've been trying to read more as well. I finished Dreadnought, which is a book about a trans girl superhero. She inherits superpowers and as she's in, as that process is happening, she transitions like immediately and it's really cool. Um, so I'm really excited to get the second book in that series. Definitely recommend it. Um, I've got a few other books, too, that are coming in that I'm going to try and read. Um, I lost a lot. 
I have, I really got stuck with art. There was a time where there was somebody I knew that like really wanted to like be watching me like do it all the time. And like that kind of, that whole situation got kind of stifling and just kind of killed it a lot for me, but also so did a lot of migraines too. It's hard to draw when you have a migraine because nothing works right during a migraine. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to get back into drawing and try that again more because I do like it. I just, I don't know what I like drawing yet. And drawing is and watercolor go together for me. I, I'm usually drawing for the sake of watercolor, but... Um, Andy, Claire, you said, uh, you know, is our rea relaxation techniques and self-care two different things? No, relaxation techniques is a type of intervention. It can either be a clinical intervention as a way to deal with anxiety, or it can be a form of self-care to help with anxiety and things like that. It depends on what angle you're coming at it from, but basically it's still still useful. I think deep breathing, I think meditation, zaza, and things like that can be incredibly helpful. Yes, Zena has watercolor pencils. I bought it for them so I could have so I could buy more for Sona art. Yeah, I've got watercolor pencils and water soluble crayons that are really, really cool. Um Yeah, I like both. I like all of it. Uh the the watercolor crayons. Also, if you just want like to just play like with art, um the aqua coral. Oh, who makes them? I forget. I forget who makes them. I'll post it on the Discord, maybe. Um, anyways, they're water-soluble, like, crayons or pastels, basically. Um, and they're just really, really fun. They're just bright colors and bright. Um, yeah, I think I think the goal with this is that, as a segment, is I just... I guess I want to share two things. One is that I think it's okay to disconnect. Like, as much as I want our channel to grow and be huge, the reality is if you guys need to step away from this stuff, do it. We have to, too. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is that I also just want to make it really clear that, like, sometimes self-care means just doing the things that really make you happy. Um, I've been really happy reading a lot to the point to the irritation of everyone around me because I just mm -hmm. it's all I want to do. Um, depression's a bitch. Uh, but I... I've needed it. I've needed the rest. I'm probably going to keep doing it for a while because I can't just video games are boring as shit to me right now. Yeah, I kind of got burned out on video games, too. We've been having our late night discussions with our, our, you know, with our discord and I've just been reading the whole time. I'll still engage. I'll still talk, but not anywhere as much. I just don't really want to. Uh, I'd rather read Yuri. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I guess that's the second point is just take care of yourselves. Find things that really are meaningful to you. I think the reason why the Yuri has been so meaningful is like Xena's really great at creativity, like, you know, doing the art or when, you know, now, now it's been a lot of crochet and stuff like that or, or knitting. I, uh, I really like stories. I really like love and I really like that stuff. And I feel like I don't get into it enough because I don't really feel like watching television. It feels like it takes too long. For some reason, going through a, a manga or a manhwa seems like it feels, I don't know, it feels different in timing. Probably takes longer, but yeah i guess i guess my overall thought here is just you know find something even if it's non-traditional even if it's something that is not that just find something that kind of like kind of pulls you out of this stuff i know there's problems to solve and i know we all want to be super you know aggressive about this stuff but i think it's okay to step out of things and put a lot of stuff on hold when you need to that's the other big one i agree we had a lot of lofty goals and a lot of big things we wanted to do right away and we just to have it and they weren't getting done and then we were feeling frustrated and cranky because they weren't getting done and then we you know beat ourselves up because they still weren't done all right this goes on for months um you know and so now we're finally at the no you actually have to like slow down and give yourself that break otherwise it won't happen anyways right you've got to be able to balance the self-care stuff um, I mean, TM, out of you want my honest opinion, that's probably true, but there's also like a level to it. And I'm just going to be really upfront with you guys about this. A lot of the content I read tends to also have like a lot of sexy stuff in it, especially like the Ratana Sada stuff has like really cool sex scenes. And I'll be just really fucking clear. Um, I being in that perpetual state of kind of turned on is just fun. <laughs> Especially now that I actually have a sex drive again, because God forbid the first six months of my fucking transition, I had nothing. So. Well, I think the big thing too is getting used to tea and kind of like. 
also my higher estrogen dose now, though that has changed because of my stupid uh, Needle. stupid needles. Speaking yeah. of which, I never took my estrogen today because I I have, to, I have to go back to the pills right now. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I've been on on more tea lately, and it's been nice. Uh, it's definitely been an interesting one. I do get a lot of minor shifts. I'm also in a body that deals with PMDD, premenstrual dysphoria disorder, so. There are shifts that I am probably more likely to notice, at least in my estimation, okay? This isn't like medical fact or anything, but people with PMDD tend to report being very, very sensitive to hormone shifts. Um, and so I have a feeling that a lot of the, the shifts that I notice right away that you might not, other people might not notice until later um, is because of my body. But it's been kind of chilling out though, which is nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I feel like that's it for me. I got. I, I, hopefully, there are people took something from this. I think it's just take care of yourselves, and if you need to do something, cut away for a bit, do it. And if that if that means you're not looking at our content for a minute, that's okay. Just don't beat yourselves up. Yeah, yeah. Um. As a treat, if anyone wants to see a few of my hot pads, they are a stack. Um, yeah, we'll show. Do you want to show those after the segment or right now? I need to show them real quick at the end. Yeah, it's the okay. end of the segment. I mean, yeah, just do it real quick because it's midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a little square one. It's small. It's knit in like a, a rectangle tube and then squished and then sewed together. Um, this is a washcloth. It just uses whatever scrap yarns I've got. So, and then uh, this is a nice thick soft pad. This is a nice one for hot pants. And uh, this is fuck the first one, except uh, it was harder to read on this. So this will stay washcloth and still be gifted to my friend. Uh, and uh, this is why I just saw, thought there were so many. So fuck on the back and then fuck on the front. Um, and yeah, really great. Really happy. They're double layered. So they actually do it. You're cute. Um, and, uh, somebody asked me if I like knitting or crocheting, and I really do both, you can, right, knitted hot pad, crocheted border, uh, this guy's crochet, so, yeah, it's been nice, just kind of chilling and taking time, it's, you're cute. Olive's not very huggable, but she is a lesbian vampire, so I wanted to just <laughs> put her somewhere. <laughs> And right. I decided my chest I was where she, I, I just I decided that's where she goes. I have a gobo. I, I did make my top. Yes. Here. Zena is also my top. Wait. Yes. There we go. Non-binary colors. Um. She's staying here the rest of the night. I don't care what any of you say. <laughs> um. All right. With that said, we love you guys. Uh, we will see you in the next one. All right. All right. Bye. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, consider donating to us. You can support us on our website, transgirltherapist.org. You can also help us on our Patreon, link below, or you can become a member here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching.